I'm Brian Charles from Charles Double Reed Company. I'm going to talk today about how to prepare and break in reeds that are pre-made, ones that you get in the mail. All right, so let's start off with you've opened up the box, the reed has come in the mail, and you're ready to use it. Here is the dry reed in its little case, and when you pop it open, it's going to be bone dry in there and pretty much not usable. The first thing to do is to get some warm water from the tap. Cold water is okay too, but warm water works better. And put your reed in it. Don't drop the reed in, just put the reed in. Uh, somewhere around there, you can I don't know if you can see it exactly, but the water is up to about the string. Now you're going to want to leave it in there for about a minute to two minutes. Um, if you leave it in there for five minutes or more, it's going to sound pretty awful, so don't do that. Uh, if you have left it in for too long, take it out, let it dry out for about a half an hour, it should be fine again. So before the reed is ready, you'll be able to see that uh, the tip may or may not actually close on the sides. Don't worry about that. That will be taken care of by the moisture. The moisture is going to resupply uh, the cane. It's going to make it puff up again the way it should. And uh, if it looks like that, just put it back in the water. We'll leave it there for another minute or two. All right, so once the reed has gotten soaked enough, you will be able to see that the, uh, the tip has um, reformed, reformed itself. It's uh, nice and closed on the sides. The tip opening should not be too large. If the tip opening is much larger than this, that's going to be too big and it will make a kind of a ducky sound. If it's a lot more closed than this, it may be hard to get a sound out at all. Um, now is a great time to test, before you put it in your instrument, whether the reed is working. So for our purposes today, I chose a student medium soft reed. This one's um, softer than I would normally use, and the softness is determined by how much material is taken off the reed. You can make it a little harder by clipping the tip, but we'll talk about that later. Now what we're doing is just giving it a little test before you put it in the instrument. The san standard sound and then the crow tell you a lot about whether a reed is working or not. Um, you'll get to know that as you get more experienced, but uh, always good to test it before you put it in the instrument. Why bother if it's not going to sound good at all? So here's a couple of the things that go on that could be problems. If you get a reed and it appears as though the sides are not closing at all, that could, not, that could be uh, problematic. However, you can squeeze the tip once the reed is wet. And by squeezing it, you're closing that back down again. The cane will remember that. If you squeeze it too much, you could crack it. Uh, cracking a, a piece of cane is somewhat easy to do if the reed is dry. Once it's wet, it's a little harder to do that. If the tip is too closed, you can squeeze this way and open it up. And it will remember and stay open to some degree. Um, over the course of the life of the reed, you may end up with little pieces coming off on the sides. These little hairs are easily removed and can just be removed without any problems just by picking at them or getting rid of them like that. It's a normal part of the reed getting older. It happens especially uh, if you have longer hair and you're trying out your reed and trying out your oboe and the reed goes into your hair. Uh, it can start to pull parts away. You'll notice that sometimes the little edges of the reed might get damaged. That should be okay too, not a big deal. The big deal would be if the reed cracks down the center. Now, a crack generally would form right at the tip, somewhere along here. It might be hard to see unless you press down. If you press like this, it should open right up and you'll see there's a crack. If there's a crack, the reed really isn't going to be able to work anymore. If you get a reed from us and it's cracked when you get it, let us know right away. This is something that can happen when it goes through a UPS you know, uh, shipping situation and gets tossed around or something. Um, and that's what our guarantee is for. Um, our reeds are guaranteed. If you don't like what you're hearing, if something goes wrong with it, call us, let us know, and we'll be happy to replace them. Now, this reed is going to function fairly well for about two to three weeks, but during that time, you might want to clean it. Thinking about this, if you have lunch, say, before you practice, some of your lunch ends up in the reed. The best way to clean a reed is to turn it upside down, put it under warm tap water, and let the water flow through it. The water will come out here, it'll remove a lot of the debris, and the reed will rejuvenate, and it will feel different. 
So that's some of what you can do um, to take care of, uh, prepare, and break in your new read. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Brian Charles from Charles Double Reads, and uh, look forward to hearing from you if you have any further questions.